Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to what is definitely this time going to be the final episode of Let's Play Jurassic Park Trespasser. We're about to enter the final level and it's not a very long one, so this video may itself not be very long at all. Regardless, there is one puzzle that stands in our way between us and the last level right now, and it's this one. Interesting because... Actually, as puzzles go in this game, this is one of the more interesting ones, at least in concept, if not in execution. Oh. Eight shots. Hiccups. Part of me is tempted to reshoot the entire intro of this video now because of that random hiccup, but I tell you what, I'll leave it in because I'm only human. I think that bird is laughing at me. Anyway, the solution to this is pretty simple. Use this switch to bring the elevator thing down. And of course, as usual, there's no point in taking uh, any guns with us because they don't tr they don't survive the level transition. But we do actually need one Eight shots. because this switch here is the one that makes it go up. However, of course, we can't operate it if we're standing on it. So what you do... Seven. Six. Is... Not that! Oh, good. The way that's supposed to work, hence I said a concept and maybe not execution, is, uh... Yeah, you get the idea. This plank, you're supposed to shoot it and it falls onto... The switch, and thus allowing you to go up. Unfortunately, in practice, this often is not the actual bloody case. And actually, in fact, ends up turning into a stacking puzzle, which is what the developers wanted to avoid because they knew it was frustrating. But here we are. Probably worth saving the game before I did that, but hey. Ah, finally got it, but I wasn't on the damn thing. I wonder if we can override it with this. Nope. No, we can't. Come on, let's move you. All right, I'll try this. Six left. Gotta lower it first, though. Oh, trespasser, you've got to have the last laugh, haven't you? Six left. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Move the box slightly this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it, little one. Come on. Come on. There we go. And boom, final level, everybody. Now, immediately, we need a gun. 
because immediately, more or less. Yep. Like Hello. Ha <laughs> there was a third one. Aha. Uh -huh. Eight shots. Don't you I nicked his my gun off, mate. Absolute Eight kit. Shots. Do you know what? We're just gonna leg it. Let's deal with you properly. Famous last words, potentially. Ah, uh, we got him. All right. Now, this isn't going to open for us. However, we do need to get in there, I think. Ah. Four bullets. Ah, now, this is as the, on the final level here, you'll finally start to notice that some of the guns do not have full complements of ammunition anymore. I wasn't sure if that was a door you could shoot open. I don't think it is. Possibly a waste of a valuable round there, but yeah, well. Do we need to get in here? I think we need to get in here. I think we get in there via the roof. I just... Me actually using the hints for once. Ah, three left. Hasn't been used. This one's full. Unfortunately, it's an Uzi, so it's not that useful. But you know, there's nothing I can stack to get up on the roof. Maybe if I'm just stubborn enough about it. Hasn't been used. No. Feels full. Oh no, here we go. I was being an idiot. I forgot to go around here. Oh, come on. I believe in you, Ant. You can do this. There we go. That's how you get in. Apologies, folks. Final level of the game. I had a bit of a brain fart there. Here we go. And that is a radio. With a big red button that will activate the beacon. Um, hello? Hello? Anyone out there? I need help. This is the United States Navy Priority Channel. Identify yourself or clear the air. Ha! I mean, yes! Yes, I'm here. I'm on Site B. No, I'm not kidding. I'm on site B. I'm, I'm on the dinosaur preserve, for God's sake. Be advised. We're triangulating your location, and the transmitting of this frequency is a violation. Uh, sir, this, this is coming from the top of Mount Watson. Ha. Huh. Sir, ma'am, hold tight. Are you in any danger? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get me out of here. Hold your position, ma'am. We've got people in the area. We're dispatching a helicopter to your current location. Thank you. I mean... Roger that. Over and out. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, rescue is on the way. I really felt like she should have mentioned something about all the velociraptors when they asked if she was in any danger, but whatever, never mind. Never mind. They don't need to know that, do they, clearly? So, 
now we just need to get right up to the top to the summit itself there now we've used the radio unfortunately there will be one or two beasties standing between us and there like these guys hello However, I'm not going to waste ammunition on you because much like Daleks back in the day you don't really do deal very well with stairs three shots of course I wouldn't mind wasting this ammo on you I guess fetch four shots there's more of them here than you're supposed to really be able to deal with with the guns anyway so Kill everything run of this game would certainly be difficult now. I'm waiting for a very sneaky ninja raptor about here-ish. There he is. I have to do a little Assassin's Creed jump off the top of there on top of me, but uh, sorry old chum, I was ready for you. Dinosaurs do not deal well with stairs. not these stairs anyway hello there's another one we might have to shoot you actually oh. don't be a douchebag about it man come on there we go ah hello about half a clip he's dead okay good stuff Expecting another one here, I think. Ah. There was him, but he seems to have managed to accidentally kill himself or get stuck. One of the two. That's fine by me. Probably you just hear a thud and turn around, and there he is, lodged in the piece of metal. A few weeks after we landed, we went to the summit to put up a crude satellite link. We went by helicopter. Young technicians scrambled to set up the dish as the wind howled. High speed uplink. State of the art. If we succeeded, the in-gen technology would be historic. We were planning to conquer time's power over life, its power to extinguish and erase. It would change all our lives, as profoundly, as irrevocably, as the atomic bomb. Right. Here we are. Now is a very good time to save. Very good time to save indeed. You'll notice the game is throwing a few guns at us. There's a reason for this. Four shots. Around ten. Let's drop another save here now that I've got that sorted. Okay, here we go. You'll notice there's nothing here, except for this guy. Nine, eight. And then all of a sudden... Hello! This guy. Uh, give that back, please. I need that. This guy's the Raptor Alpha. About half a clip. He is the final boss Empty. of Trespasser. And he's quite irritating, as you can see. Whoa. That's never happened to me before. What happened there is... Uh, <laughs> wow, she just keeps going. Is uh, we touched the electric fence, which is still electrified there. You may have heard the sound. And then his tail proceeded to cap catapult us through the fence, and we have spectacularly gone all the way down the mountain. 
before you get dizzy, I'm going to put you out of your misery and reload. But yes. This guy's kind of annoying. It has to be said. Danger 10,000 volts. Yeah, it's not kidding. I'm trying to remember what the... I think you have to walk into a certain area and then that'll... Feels about half. Trigger them to appear. It hasn't been used. Uh, an MP5. This is this will be useful. Okay. Let's try again, shall we? This time without being electrocuted and thrown off the mountain. That was pretty spectacular, though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, music. Thank you. Take a bow, Anne. Take a bow. Did it that time. Cheeky bastard. Yes, there it is. The Alpha Raptor. It's just a really big raptor. And that's the final boss of the game. Emblematic, really. The final boss of the game is just a raptor, same as all of the others, with a slightly changed texture and scaled up a couple of times. They really should have let it be the, the uniquely coloured T-Rex, I think. He was more impressive. Oh, hey, look. Mouth open. Not anymore. All right. That is us done here. All that stands in our way. He's a... Oh, he's got his mouth open, too. All that stands in our way, folks, is a simple... Just one last box stacking puzzle. And that is it. Trespasser couldn't let us go without having one more of these. Do I really need to go and get another one? I'm hoping not, to be honest. I'm beginning to feel like I do, though. Bit of an anti-climax having to do this, in truth, but... Uh, oh well. There we go. On that last day, I stood apart from the rest of them. The helicopters were setting down. Before me, the jungle spread out, and I saw that a savage primal age had begun again. Come on, son. Get us out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Voice talent Lord Richard Attenborough as John Hammond and Mini Driver as Anne. They were pretty good in this game. They were one of the best bits about it. The rest of the game, on the other hand, well. What more can I really add other than to say it's been fun playing through this again? As usual, it became a bit of a chore towards the end, but uh, we've done it. And there you go, folks. That's our little journey through one of. PC gaming's weirdest and most maligned, rightly so, by the way, uh, titles from over the years. Trespasser, a uniquely fascinating disaster, as I said in the first video. 
It's interesting. It has a few glimmers of what a game that it could have been here and there throughout the thing, but ultimately, unfortunately, the game as a, as a, as a full product taken as all of its parts assembled together is not very good. It's really not very good. And it really shows towards the end, unfortunately, as well. But there it is. Um... Unfortunately, no one's ever really come back to re revisit the concept of Trespasser. As I said, there has there's been some fan projects over the years to remake it in stuff like CryEngine, but I don't think they've ever really gotten anywhere. I, I hope, I hope that someday a developer out there does, whoever's got the license these days, does decide to come back to Trespasser and look at it and think, right, why don't we try and do this properly this time? Today, in the age of open world games, where the technology allows us to do loads of amazing things in video games, you know, we're living in the age of Red Dead Redemption 2 now. And games like that. And I just look at games like that, and I look back at Trespass, and I think, man, what, what could be if you decided to actually take that idea and run with it again nowadays? Risky proposition, admittedly, because it never really sort of... Uh, you know, it's, it's it's a pretty toxic game, is Trespass, and no one really wants to touch it because of its reputation. But perhaps its reputation is starting to fall by the wayside these days. I think most of the people who probably tuned into this series on my channel to start with probably have never even heard of this game. A lot of people said so in the comments of the first video anyway, so if you're one of those people who made it all the way to the end of this, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this weird and strange and broken game. I've enjoyed it. I think this is probably my fifth or sixth playthrough I've done of it now. If I think back. Yeah, I think it is. Did a previous one on Twitch and now this one for YouTube. I wanted to do it again for YouTube because I feel like uh, there's something archival about YouTube. Doing a Twitch stream is a lot more uh, temporal, whereas this is sort of going to be on here forever for any, everyone to watch whenever they like. Just as a sort of a monument to this game's memory, really, but I'm, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. I'm running out of things to say in truth. Trespasser. What can I say I already haven't said? Not much. I don't know where you can buy it these days if you fancy trying it for yourself. Um, if you fancy coming back to it for, all two, for, for repeated playthroughs, there is, for example, the ATX mod, which you can install for this, which actually has an option to randomize the placement of dinosaurs in the game to make it different on multiple playthroughs. Which is certainly interesting, can make it more interesting. I didn't actually use that on this playthrough because I wanted to present the game more or less as it originally was, post-patches and stuff like that. But obviously with a few graphical upgrades, thanks to Trespasser CE. But if I were to play it again for a seventh time, I probably would use that, I think. Anyway. Maybe one day GOG will get their hands on this thing and re-release it to the general public. Because otherwise it's pretty hard to get your hands on. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Sorcerer Dave. This has been Jurassic Park Trespasser. And I will join you again very soon for another Let's Play of another game from the 1990s that I played a lot of back in the day. This time, though, it's going to be a game that I think is genuinely good. That's the idea, anyway. This game is a bad game. It's always been a bad game. It was a bad game when it's released. It's still a bad game now. It has fun moments, but it's still a bit rubbish. Next time, we're going to play something that I don't think is rubbish. But that will be then, and this is now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>